every single day, multiple times a day, I get comments, Discord DMs, Instagram DMs, Twitter DMs saying, Garrett, should I get Session or Skater XL? Garrett, which is better? Session or Skater XL? Is Session better than Skater XL? Is Skater XL better than Session? I have 40 bucks. Which game should I buy? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? We're finally doing it. We're diving into the video. In this video, we are going to be doing an in-depth comparison of Vanilla Session and Vanilla Skater XL. This is not, whoops, this is not taking mods into consideration for either game, both Skater XL and Session. This is the base game, the vanilla version of each game, and I want to go in depth of the features, the comparisons, the pros and cons of each game, and really have this video make the decision for you. Because at the end of the day, it comes down to preference. I want to present you your options. At the time of filming this video, which is currently Monday, February 28th, 2022, Skater XL has a price tag of $39.99. This is on PlayStation, cons, no PlayStation, console, the same thing. PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam. 40 bucks. Session currently has a price tag of $24.99, and this is Xbox and Steam, Xbox and PC. The game is not fully out yet. Session 1.0 is not out yet. When Session 1.0 is out, it will be on Xbox, PlayStation, and Steam, and I'm assuming it will have a higher price tag, so keep that in mind. The first topic that I want to compare in these two games is arguably one of the most important factors of any I don't even want to say any skateboarding game, any game in general, which is the controls. We're playing Session currently, by the way. Both Session and Skater XL are only playable with a controller. I'm just using a, a shitty old Xbox controller plugged into my PC with the USB cable. Skater XL is the same thing. Let's talk customization. In Session, you have three control schemes. That's the word for it, right? You have left foot, right foot. The left thumbstick represents the left foot and the right thumbstick represents the right foot. Triggers are used for navigation and and rotation. That's what I currently play on. That's the closest you can get to Skater XL. For example, if you want to do a kickflip, you do a kickflip with your hands, your thumbs. If you watch my controller overlay because we're skating goofy, that means our left foot is our back foot. So to pop, you hold down on your back foot and you flick diagonally right with your front foot and that'll make you do a kickflip. Tray flip is the same thing. You scoop with your back foot to do a 360 and you flick with your right foot to get the board to do a kickflip. The difference between the Skater XL left foot, right foot controls and the Session left foot, right foot controls are the switch and fakey inputs, I think. Here we are in vanilla Skater XL. If we do a kickflip, I'm doing the exact same inputs that I did in Session. In Skater XL, we're doing kickflips, we're doing tray flips, we're doing big spins. So the, the inputs are 90% the same. The difference, the exception is ollies. In Skater XL, all you do is you hold your, your back foot and let go. You'll do an ollie session. You have to swipe up with your other foot like you would in real life. Fakey and switch controls are the difference here. So right now we're riding switch. I'm goofy stands in real life and in the game. And if I want to do a fakey ollie, I literally just ride switch and I do a normal ollie. And that'll, that'll be fakey. I want to do a half cab flip. I do the same input for a backside flip. I do a backside flip that, that, that that's the same input right there i'm just doing backside flip over and over again and we're doing backside flip and fakie backside flip you will notice in session if i do a backside flip and then try to do another backside flip i'm doing the input nothing's happening session switches the controls when you switch stances so now that i'm riding regular which is switch if i want to do a half cab flip i have to go i i'm thinking of it left stick right stick left foot right foot so i have to put my front foot which is now my left foot up and then flip. It, it, it's a lot easier to show than it is to explain. So if I want to do a backside flip and then a fakie backside flip, I'm not doing the same input. I'm reversing the input depending on where my feet are in perspective of the skateboard. Those are the differences in controls for the left foot, right foot in session versus left foot, right foot in Skater XL. Very similar, very slight differences. At the end of the day, that's just personal preference. I've been playing both games now and I've gotten used to both styles of games and it doesn't mess with my brain too much. Front foot, back foot controls are slightly different than left foot, right foot controls. It says the left thumbstick represents the front foot and the right thumbstick represents the back foot regardless of the skater's stance. So it's the exact same thing, but doesn't have that switch so now if we want to do a kickflip it's it's reversed now because I, I skate goofy but our right thumb stick is our back foot so to do a kickflip we go down and flick we go down and flick we go down and flick but the, the the difference here is if we skate switch now we're skating switch and the the right thumb stick is still down that's still your pop the only difference is the direction you flick in if we do what we just did we're doing heel flips now because our feet are different 
but switch kickflip we can turn around here and do regular kickflip with the same back foot input so that's again preference is just going over the control scheme and lastly something that i personally am not interested in but a lot of people are are legacy controls which says the left thumbstick is used for navigation and rotations the right thumbstick is used for tricks it's still an experimental feature it's it's not finalized you know what i mean the reason people like this control scheme is because this is skate three flick it controls essentially so if you look at my overlay if we do a kickflip i'm doing everything with the right stick and turning is the left stick you do a tray flip you scoop and flick you do a nolly heel flip you you do that it is literally skate three controls which if you've never played skater xl or session before you've only played skate this will be the easiest transition personally it's not my cup of tea i really enjoy playing these games for their simulator e at you that was disgusting i enjoy playing these games for their simulator -y aspects if i wanted to play with skate 3 controls i would play skate 3 because it's a more finalized game i always have mine on left foot right foot controls the closest thing to skater xl it's what i feel more most natural doing that's just me when it comes to control schemes in skater xl if we go over to our options or settings here there is no customization you are stuck with skater xl controls if you like them that's good if you don't you're shit out of luck so these can't be changed there are no settings about them oh god my my, my my thumbs are getting a little confused it does take me about five minutes to switch between games to get my my brain to recognize the whole switch and fakey thing but when once you once it clicks you're good if we're doing a rating here a comparison uh i would say session is the clear winner ding 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 it has customization you can you can customize the controllers to your liking i would say the second most important part of any game or a skateboarding game are the graphics the biggest difference here is that skater xl is built on unity and session is built in unreal engine i'm just doing a quick fly through around easy day high school here on on vanilla skater xl to give you guys a feel of what the graphics look like and uh that's sort of it <laughs> this is how we explain graphics we fly around and i show you things let's get uh up close and personal with some of the grass here get an idea of detail texture all that sort of stuff in this tree beautiful gotta love it check in the tile texture there it looks good shiny reflective beautiful i like it we're now doing the same thing over here in session just doing a little fly through of this map we'll get up close and personal with uh this blank street sign i don't i don't i don't know why it's blank i didn't actually know that we can get up close with this tree here mm Hmm. beautiful leaves top notch oh wait that's cool listen to this all you hear right now is like city and street ambiance but when you get close to the tree you have a tree rustling in the wind sound effect, but you don't get... I didn't actually know that until right now. That's really cool. There's some nice smelly trash. Yep. Beautiful. Check the texture of the cement. Mm-hmm. Very, <laughs> very good. Uh, we gotta find... We gotta find, like, grass. That's not grass. There's some grass. Look at that. Okay, I'm pretty sure that covers the uh, the details. If I had to pick a winner in graphics when it comes to both games, I also give that to Session. So ding, 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 ding. Session has better graphics than Skater XL, in my opinion. Now we can get into the nitty gritty, which I think is very important when it comes to skateboarding games, and that's fluidity and physics. I'm just gonna skate some flat ground here. We'll do a kick flip, nollie heel, tray flip, nollie back heel uh fakey full cab flip i'm just trying to knock out some some flat ground so we're following ourselves here kick flip nollie heel tray flip nollie back heel and full cab flip okay that's the fluidity of skater xl we can do some grinds as well i am a little bit i am rusty whoops i'm definitely rusty playing skater xl and i, I want to make this as unbiased as possible by just giving you guys the facts reg like regardless of gameplay and letting you guys decide what you like better you know maybe like uh kickflip backs i want to try kickflip back smith i forgot how to smith in this game it's the same as session right we just dip the yeah okay let me do one more kickflip back smith all right we're gonna do the same thing over here in session we'll do kickflip nolly heel tray flip Nolly back here. I don't remember. I don't remember the tricks that we did. Uh, full cab flip. Oops, I messed up. I'm trying to remember the order. We did kick flip, nolly heel, tray flip, nolly back heel, and full cab flip. 
I think those are the tricks we did. So again, following us here, kick flip, nollie heel, tray flip, nollie back heel, full cab flip. So flat ground tricks alone, if we're doing a comparison, I say Skater XL has better fluidity, better physics, better motion. The way that it looks, looks better to me. So Skater XL, ding, 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 ding. Skater XL is the winner there. Session has always been known for blocky and kind of chunky animations that don't quite look finalized. Obviously the game isn't finalized yet, but this is a comparison in its, its current state. Regardless of how the game feels, I don't think that physics wise, it looks as good as Skater XL. Everything's a little bit robotic and there's not as much customization per se. For example, when we do a, a tray flip, it does a tray flip. You, you, you can't really like extend one foot out and extend the other. Like you, you can, but it's not as fluid as Skater XL. And Skater XL, if you put hours into it, you can make the game look really, really, really good. With that information, I would say that uh, in my opinion, Skater XL wins. Ding, 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 ding. Congratulations. <laughs> Customizability. The big one. This is kind of venturing back into the control scheme, but we can go over here in session to options and we have gameplay and we have body rotation mode. We have board settings. You can come in here. You can tighten and loosen your trucks. Wheel bite, wheel grip, flip trick settings. You can fine tune every little detail to fully customize the game. You have individual settings for all of your grinds. You have individual settings for your reverts. You have wear and tear settings. You can get how your clothes can get dirty. You can turn it on and off, etc., etc. 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 If you click advanced settings, some people still don't know this. If you click advanced settings, you have a built in no mods needed vanilla stats menu you can have custom presets you have gravity push force push speed everything that you have in xxl mod is essentially in game here you can fully customize every aspect of the physics of the game to make it skate or play the way that you want in vanilla skater xl if you click start and go to your settings you have none of that and again, this isn't like trying to throw shade and be like, you, they should add that. Like, this is just presenting you the facts. There are, there is no customization. The controls are what you got. The one thing you can change is your stance. You can make your stance goofy or regular. Um, that's the, that's the customization you have there. So the obvious winner in the customization category is session. Ding, 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 ding. Session wins by a, a long shot there. That's about it for game mechanics. I would say that talks about graphics, physics, controls, feel of the game that I, I think I did a fair job kind of showcasing what each game can bring to the table. Now for the, the less customizable stuff, but the actual in-game options. Let's start with maps. We go over to maps in Skater XL, vanilla, console version, whatever. Official maps, you have Easy Day High School, The Big Ramp, Downtown Los Angeles, California Skate Park, and West LA Courthouse. It's one, two, three, four, five maps. You can also go here to the mod browser and download other other maps and here's where it gets a little bit confusing yes i am on vanilla skater xl with no mods installed but because i'm on pc i have more options of maps to download here so here we have another what another eight maps another another eight maps and another five so what 16 17 18 19 20 21 Did i do that math right there's over 20 maps you can download on the pc version but the difference here is that you're limited on console so on console you have embarcadero plaza industrial zone night fermenter the warehouse primitive park river fern applewood quebec oshawa arena industrial zone skate park of tampa and then primitive with the lights out. So you there, there's a couple on here that you don't get on console that you do on PC, uh, but for the most part, that's your map selection. And let's uh, let's load one up here. Let's go to a map. So we're at Applewood right now, which is a map on all platforms and just a quick fly through. All, all you guys know Applewood Park by now. Uh, it's been on console and PC for a while now. It's a pretty decent sized map. I'm flying to all the borders of the map so you can kind of get a feel for how big it is if you don't already know. And all the maps are relatively similar in size applewood is one of the bigger ones but you have you know the warehouse hoodland they're all like one skate park size map and there's a lot of them you know what i mean in session we head on over here to select map and we have one two three four five six seven eight nine we have nine maps these nine maps are available on console and these nine maps are available on pc if you have the modded version of session you can obviously download more but we're doing the vanilla version of both games the difference here is that the size of the map is definitely bigger in session. I don't even think I, I mean, I could spend five minutes walking to one side of the map and five minutes walking the other way 
but that's just a waste of time. So the maps are definitely bigger in session, but you have less maps. And then you have more maps in Skater XL, but they are smaller. At the end of the day, whoever wins this one does come down to personal preference. Personally, I like having, like, you know how Skate 3 is one big map and then you can skate around throughout it? That's the kind of vibe that Session is going for, where you do have multiple maps, but each one's big. And then Skater XL, depending on what spot you want to skate, you would go to a different map. I think Session's the winner there, but I'm not going to give it a ding, 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 because that one's just preference. I'm just giving you guys the facts for that one. Okay, so we've done controls, graphics, fluidity, map selection, customization. That's most of it. I would say the last thing we have to cover would be the replay editor. With any skateboard simulator, the replay editor plays a huge role because chances are if you're playing a skateboarding simulator or a skateboarding game like that, you're going to want to get clips both the skater xl and session replay editors are very similar session you do have the options to change your camera so you can have the default camera you can have a fisheye which as you can see adds a little vignette to the end of the uh the edges of the screen you can add a fisheye wide which is i mean it's pretty much what it sounds like you can add camera filters you can turn on or off a camera light you can essentially edit your clip in layers so you can set your camera keyframes then you can set your depth of field keyframe your field of view keyframe your camera lens keyframe play rate which is slow-mo obviously camera shake time of day so those are the the layers essentially that you can use to make some really cool clips the skater xl replay editor is essentially single layer editing so if you do want to adjust your your field of view you can do that but you don't have a separate layer for it there is no separate layer for camera shake slow-mo stuff like that you'd have to manually do that as you're filming the video essentially besides that most things are the same and this comparison is interesting feature wise i think that's the right way to word it session is way more packed with things you can do to make your clips look different ease of use skater xl is the clear winner you just put the camera where you want it to be and you add a keyframe and you continue until you uh you get your clip session it, there's a, a learning curve for it you know what i mean but once you get the hang of it you can do way more with it so in my opinion the winner ding, 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 session it's just you can do way more with it and i think you can get way more refined results with it there is one more thing the, the, a big thing actually is multiplayer skater xl we can click this little multiplayer option oh and there's a lot of stuff actually a map editor you can move things and place them and then you can skate them and session has the same thing as well in session if you get off your board and click lb it opens up the object dropper an exact same concept you can kind of place things wherever you like to be honest i actually like the skater xl object dropper better you have unlimited items you can place them wherever session you actually have to like either unlock the items in game or buy them from the skate shop it, it doesn't cost real money but you have to you know play the story mode and acquire money in order to get these objects and for that reason just creativity wise gator xl ding, 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 ding. object dropper is better in my opinion multiplayer multiplayer is huge session has party games which honestly i haven't even fully figured out yet there's a way to do multiplayer with like steam remote play but it's not intuitive i don't even think that's the way you're supposed to do it party games are essentially if i had a homie sitting next to me we'd pass the controller back and forth and we could do a game of skate skate dice spot challenge etc but i have to have someone next to me here there is no online multiplayer at the time of filming this skater xl has a big old multiplayer button you click it it'll you can create your own room you can join a random room let's just join a random room and bada bing bada boom we're in a multiplayer lobby obviously a lot of people really 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 want multiplayer in their skateboarding game because session doesn't even offer an online multiplayer without a doubt skater xl wins by a mile here because we're literally skating a skate park with our homies with some random people and you can't do that in session if multiplayer is your thing and that's what you look for in a game don't get session because it doesn't have it and you won't enjoy it the final verdict the decision which is better if you have 65 bucks or whatever laying around i highly 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 recommend you get both games i think they complement each other perfectly i will play session for a couple hours i'll get bored i'll boot up skater xl it feels like a different game and i can spend a couple hours playing that then i get bored of that i head back over to session if you can get both get both just the fact that we have these two phenomenal skateboarding games honestly both made by small 
dev teams giving them your money to buy their game only further develops skateboarding games in general and grows the skateboarding game niche which the, the more skateboarding games we have the better i don't want this to be like a, only get this game this game sucks no they are both great games for different people if you want the most realistic skateboarding simulator experience without mods just a download and play type game session is the clear winner the amount of things you can do in the replay editor the customization of the physics you can make your pop higher you can make the gravity lower what however you want your game to look session can make that happen that also means that you can spend three hours trying one trick and you will get frustrated you will hate it you will want to throw your controller across the room in the exact same sense you would skateboarding people get mad at skateboarding they throw their board whatever it's a it's a realistic skateboarding simulator experience if you don't really give a shit about any of that and you want to pick up and play a fun skateboarding game with your friends download skater xl right now session will not offer that skater xl is a pick up and play type game you enjoy it you have fun with it you play with homies it's it's a casual skateboarding game experience if you want a game that feels good and feels smooth and the, the board does what you want it to do skater xl is your winner everything feels like it should there's no weird input delay or lag or funky animations skater xl is just you pick it up you do a tray flip you do a tray flip if i had 40 bucks i had 40 dollars to spend no more no less and i had to choose between one of the games vanilla version i would pick session personally i am a skateboarder in real life i enjoy battling tricks i enjoy having to spend an hour or two to get one clip i enjoy being able to adjust the depth of field on my camera as if i'm touching the the focus ring on my actual camera it is a super in-depth hyper realistic experience that's what i look for in a video game do you look for the same thing i don't know that's just my opinion without filming for four hours and making a two hour long video going into everything i hope this was able to either answer some questions you had showcase the differences between the two games and hopefully you know have you make a decision help you make a decision at least at the end of the day they are both great games and it really depends on what you're looking for in a skateboarding game things get complicated when we start including mods so if we're comparing modded skater xl and modded session that is a whole different video entirely and i've been holding off because that that's gonna be a hell of a video to film drop a thumbs up if you do want me to compare those two things if you enjoy the content subscribe if you're new here i've been loving the support beginning on the channel i want to thank you guys for the growth and everything i know this was like a longer and a little bit more boring video than we usually do i wanted to make this video once so people ask which i should which game i should buy i send them this video they can make a decision for themselves let me know if i missed anything i know i missed something so let me know in the comments and i will see you guys soon peace out thank you guys for watching